Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude and today's deck opening is going to be for Joker41, so wish him good luck. Last two decks have had some pretty insane amber counts in them. Will we see the same thing today? Green Archon, first house is Shadows, second house is Sorion, and the third house of this deck is Star Alliance. Martin Monzaline's Countess. And this looks like it could be maybe like an underwater sort of Archon. And this looks like, wait a minute, it's kind of weird. Is this arm actually different? It has like lines there compared to this side. Still symmetrical overall. Is that maybe just, oh, okay, is that the lightning going across? Oh, I bet that's what it is. That's the lightning. Okay. Never actually noticed that before. That's kind of cool. Definitely a very unique looking Archon. All right, good luck. Starting off with... Star Alliance, it's in Counter Suit, it's an upgrade. After an action card is played, but before resolving its play effect, ward this creature. So good, basically prevents your creature from ever being lost to an action. Universal Translator, it's an upgrade. Amber, if you play it, this creature gains fight, reap, use a friendly non Star Alliance creature. Another upgrade, Stunner. Amber, if you play it with the Capture Pip, this creature gains fight, reap, you may stun a creature. Hayden Oswin, two power, reap, gain one neighbor for each upgrade on it. Ooh, interesting. Great target for the encounter suit, and we have two other upgrades we can put on it. And here's a third one, which you're kind of okay with, because uh, you're not going to be fighting with Hayden. Detention Coil, it's an upgrade. Amber W play it, this creature cannot fight. Security Droid, four power, taunt. It may be played as an upgrade instead of a creature, and gives the creature taunt. Observe you, Max. It's an upgrade. Amber W play it with the draw pip. This creature gains fight, reap, capture, and amber. This is so funny. <laughs> this is the seventh card in this deck so far, and every card has been an upgrade except for Hayden, who loves upgrades. Oh, and another Observe You Max, this one without a draw pip. Hadron Collision, remove a ward from a creature and deal three damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. We're obviously in the commons, but it would have been really cool to see a transporter platform in the uncommons. Oh, another Hadron Collision. This one is enhanced by a damage pip and a draw pip. Explo Rover, another card that can be played as an upgrade. Three power skirmish, and if it's played as an upgrade, it gives the creature a skirmish. Grimman Jorg, three power, enhanced the capture pip. Action, if it has no Star Alliance neighbors, steal an amber. Wow, okay, that's the end of Star Alliance. This was also, once again, a light creature deck. Was there only three? Oh no, there's four. I forgot about the security droid, I was counting it as an upgrade earlier. Very, very interesting Star Alliance there. Now we're on the shadows, it's Smiling Ruth. Amber Debbie played with the Capture Pip, one power elusive. Reap, if you forge the key of this turn, take control of an enemy flank creature. It doesn't happen too often, but the elusive does help keep it around a little bit longer. Spike Trap, it's an artifact. Amber Debbie play it, Omni, destroy it. If you do, deal three damage to each flank creature. Safe House, it's an artifact. Amber Debbie play it, Action, Archive, a friendly creature from play. Let's see at least like a red penny or maybe a bow nithing in here then. Fidget, two power elusive. Reap, discard a random card from your opponent's archives or the top card of their deck. If that card is in action, play it as if you're yours. This deck is looking pretty solid so far. Shoulder Id, six power taunt, cannot fight, and if it would deal damage, steal one instead. Great way to protect maybe that Hayden earlier. In Star Alliance, Seeker Needle, it's an artifact. Action, deal one damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, gain an amber. Oh, we did get a rad penny, one power. Play, steal an amber, destroy it, shuffle it into your deck. Opportunist, it's an upgrade, and whenever you play it, this creature gains elusive, and whenever you play it, this creature captures an amber from its opponent. Gamgee, two power elusive, reap, if your opponent has more amber than you get to steal one. Francis the Economist, three power skirmish, fight, each player gains an amber. Dark Wave, amber whenever you play it, deal two damage to each non-mutant creature. Wow, there seems to be an incredible amount of amber in this deck as well. This thing is looking super strong. Oh, you also got a bow nithing with the safe house. Fantastic. Two power play. Steal an amber for each forged key your opponent has. Even if your opponent has no forged keys, play this. Archive at the safe house. Get ready to abuse it as soon as your opponent forges key number one and two. Just insane. Ronda Sorians, and what is this? Legion's March. Amber never you play it. For the remainder of the turn, after you use a dinosaur creature, deal one damage to each non-dinosaur creature. Hmm, okay, so the problem is our other two houses are Star Alliance and Shadows, with the biggest creatures in each one of those being four. We had a lot of twos in here. We even had a one thanks to Smiling Ruth. It makes playing this card kind of iffy since it is going to hit both sides. We'll have to be aware of that. Oh my gosh, first one on the channel. Amphora Captura, it's an artifact. This has my vote for possibly top two best cards in the entire set. 
Check it out, enhance two amber, two damage, and two draw pips. When resolving a bonus icon, you may choose to resolve it as a capture bonus icon instead. Why do I think this card is so good? Well, simply put, this is adding six different enhancements to your deck. That is insane. No card even competes with that. And on top of that, now let's think about this deck. We have all of this amber in here, right? We're not even worried about the enhancement effects like the draw pips and other like damage pips we've seen in here. Think about it. If our opponent goes up to say seven amber, we can easily just play two cards with amber pips if we need to, to slow them down, prevent them from making a key. This is a really good card. Prefectus Ludo with a damage pip, five power. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each amber from this creature to the common supply. So just right here, look at this. We turn this damage pip into a capture pip, put it onto another creature. Well, guess what? If they try to kill that creature before the Ludo, the amber's gonna go away. Just insane. Faust the Great, four power. Your opponent's keys cost plus one amber for each friendly creature with amber on it. Play Exalt, a friendly creature, another card that goes great with that capture. Defense Initiative, ward a creature. You may exalt that creature. If you exalt it, ward each of its neighbors. That's a great card. Ooh, another one of those. Oh, a third one. Okay, I do like this card quite a bit, but I certainly don't want to see a deck with four of them. Just keep it at three. Okay, thank goodness. Concerent Octavia, five power, one armor. Action, capture two amber, great. Console Primus, three power, enhance the capture pip. Reap, move one amber from a creature to another creature. This is so good. Oh wow, Citizen Tricks with an amber pip. Three power, play Reap, exalt it, steal an amber. Such a good card. Oh, and you have a second one here, very nice. Oh, a third one, and it is the final card of the deck. What a strong finish, wow, okay. Started off kind of maybe if it's the Star Alliance, it had four creatures, but it did have a great gimmick there, thanks to Encounter Suit and Hayden, but uh, this was overall a very, very powerful deck. Oh, I guess we gotta pull these up with Amber as well. Okay, you know the drill, let's pull the Amber up. Okay, yeah, Bo Nithing has a good chance, especially with the safe place. We're gonna have to pull it up and at least count it as one every single time. Secret Needle, okay, yeah, I'm feeling that. We have some smaller creatures, some ways to deal damage to our opponent's creatures and finish it off with that Secret Needle. Observe you, Max. Yeah, we're gonna hit a lot of upgrades with Amber here. Yep, okay. Let's check it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That is awesome. Eighteen Amber. Very, very strong. Let's get the Amber Control up next. Let's see, okay, so make it where they can't fight. No, here we go. Capture. Let's see, safe house. It's basically gonna be reusable amber control thanks to both Rad Penny and Bowden, I think, so we gotta put it up there. Let's see, opportunist, of course. Okay, the three Shrixes. Primus, we probably should count, but we won't because we are gonna purposely make this a little bit lower just so we can go for more reliability. Oh yeah, the capture for sure. Gamgee, id. Jor, you can easily place that however you need to to make sure you can steal amber whenever you action it. Okay, check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and guess what, guys? It's even better than that. Why? Because of one of the best cards in the entire set. We saw sixteen cards that wasn't even including the effect of this. Every bonus icon back here beyond these, let's look past those, right? There, this could be a capture, a capture, a capture, a capture. Oh gosh, there was even more captures I missed. It's 18 because of those capture pips they come with. But this is a capture. I mean, look at this, capture, capture. It's absolutely insane, guys. Every one of these pips I'm pulling up easily could be a capture now. Very, very cool. It's time to pull the creatures up now. And I feel like we're going to get a decent count here. The last two decks each had 15. I want to say because we had a lot in Sorion and a decent amount of Shadows. And the fact that we know there was four inside of Sorion, I'm going to say we definitely hit above 15. But it would be hilarious if I'm wrong and we somehow hit 15 once again. All right, counting them up. One. Five. Ten. Fifteen. 18, all right, wow. Joker, this is an insane deck. I cannot believe the looks of this thing. 
The capture really takes this thing up to a whole new level. The hate in here is pretty nice thanks to all these upgrades. You got some good ways to protect it. Uh, thanks to both the taunt creatures, shoulder id, and security droid. And you also have three defense initiatives if it somehow survives the one turn and you can get to a Saurian turn to go ahead and ward it. Really, really powerful if you ask me. And that's just the protection from creatures, heck. If your opponent relies on actions to get rid of it, then you can easily combine it with the encounter suit on the same turn you play it and protect it from every single action your opponent plays, except for one, which ironically there's two of in this deck, Hadron Collision. This is basically the only action that will prevent an encounter suit. And that's a big reason why I like Hadron Collision. This is honestly a super good deck. The one thing it's lacking, because guess what? Almost every Keyforge deck in existence does lack something. It doesn't have a way to deal with artifacts, so that is its one downside. But honestly, that's going to be okay because the rest of this is insane. It even has enough little bits of damage to take care of your opponent's creatures. It doesn't have like a big board wipe, but I'm not too worried about it with this deck. It's just got a lot of great creatures, lots of powerful effects, incredible amber count, even better amber control count. You cannot go wrong with this deck. Wow, just wow. Well, Joker, I know you've been looking for Sanctum with Gizzleheart. This isn't that, but I have a very good feeling that you are going to be very pleased with this deck. I look forward to reading your comment down below. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.